Hello students, good morning to you all. So today we are going to discuss about food chain and food web. In this food chain, I am going to make you understand about the differences between food chain and food web. Before we start, first of all, there is a question that from where do we get energy? If I ask you that from where do we get energy, then obviously you will reply, this is the food. This is the food which is the source of energy. All organisms are dependent upon food for getting energy. Then from where do we get this food? There are different sources of food. We get the food from organisms or plants. And this is the plant. This is the plant which is the ultimate source of food, we can say. Either uh, carnivores or herbivores or omnivores. Directly or indirectly dependent upon the plants. So the plants are called, so the plants are called producers. Plants ko hum kya kehte hai? Plants ko hum producers kehte hai. And how do we obtain energy? We obtain energy from this plant. So we are dependent upon each other. Either our organisms, on organisms or on plants. Right now I told you this is the plant. And this plant is eaten up by the produ plant is also known as producers. And it is eaten up by rabbits. Suppose or deer. Or deer. And this rabbit and deer is eaten up by the carnivores. They are eaten by the carnivores. So what they are doing? This plant obtain energy from sunlight. Ye jo plant hai, wo energy obtain karta hai sunlight se. Aur us energy ko chemical energy mein convert karke pass on karta hai organisms ko another organism. This is rabbit. And then it goes to others. So this energy is passed by the plants. So either it is flesh or it is vegetables. All things are made up of these plants. Everything is made up of this plants. So plants are the producers. Then rabbit. This rabbit has eaten this plant. This is all those who are, who are taking plants called consumers. What they are called? Consumers. But the consumers are of different types. Primary to quaternary. This plant is eaten up by the rabbit. It is the primary consumer. It is the primary consumer. Then once again the rabbits are eaten. This rabbits are eaten by the lion or tiger. So they are what? They are secondary consumers here. In this food chain, they are the secondary consumers. But if we go through another food chain, in an ecosystem, there are different types of food chains found. So if we go through the another food chain, if we go through the another food chain, plants are written by grasshopper. It's okay. And this is primary consumer. This is what is called first level of consumer and also we can say primary consumer. This grasshopper is eaten up by the frogs. So this is secondary consumer. It is known as secondary consumers. And the frogs are eaten by snakes. So they are tertiary consumer. Snakes are eaten up by the eagles or hawk. So they are known as quaternary, quaternary consumers. So, the food chain may be consisting two or more than two consumers. Two or two to six organisms may combine together and make a food chain like this. So, now we can define this food chain like a series of organisms that eat one another. Resulting in the flow of energy. From one organism to the other is called a food chain. So is this def definition correct or not? 
so this definition is saying that the food is passed one per person or one organism to another to another at the same time energy is flowing from one part to another part and always remember the this flow of energy in the food chain is unidirectional the flow of energy in the food chain is unidirectional now how can we explain about uh, uh, about this uh, food web the food web means what we can say interconnecting food chains are called food web interconnecting food web food चेन जो है उन्हें हम फूड वेब कहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल लुक एट दिस एग्जाम्पल द ग्रास एंड दिस ग्रास इज इटन अप बाई द वॉर्म्स एट द सेम टाइम ग्रास होपर एंड दीज वॉर्म्स आर इटन बाई द हेन एंड एंड फ्रॉग्स इसी वॉर्म को हेन भी ले रहा है और इसी वॉर्म को फ्रॉग्स भी ले रहे हैं हेन ग्रेन्स भी खा सकता है और हेन जो है वो ग्रासेस भी खा सकता है वॉर्म्स भी खा सकता है एंड देन द सेम फ्रॉक्स आर रिटर्न अप बाई द स्नेक और मे बी बाई द ईगल सो देर आर सो मेनी सो मेनी फूड चेन गोइंग टूगेदर गोइंग टूगेदर एंड दे ऑल आर इंटर कनेक्टेड सो वी कैन डिफाइन इंटर कनेक्टिंग फूड चेन आर कॉल फूड वेब द लास्ट और द टॉप कार्निवोर or the last organism in any food chain are known as what they are called they are called top carnivores what they are called top carnivores if we if we talk about this hen this hen is omnivores it may take grains plants and worms that is animals so omnivores are those animals who eats both plant and animal but now we are talking about top carnivores in any food chain what is at the last are called top carnivores or they are also called apex consumers apex consumers they are never eaten up by any predator they are also known as they are, they are also called means they cannot be eaten up by the uh, predators then what happened with them when they die when they die they are decomposed by the microorganisms when they stop carnivores when they die they are decomposed by the microorganisms so they are known as apex consumers what they are called they are called apex consumers so who are their apex consumers in this food web they are eagle it may be this frog may be eaten up by the snake and the eagle or may be peacock or may be peacock so this is all top carnivores and they are all apex consumers in any food chain the starting of the chain is always plant plants means producers producers at uh, producers are always at the first in the food chain and whosoever is at the last are called top carnivores or apex consumers or what they are called apex consumers thank you all